Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to Hong Kong and to the 11th Hong Kong Forum. I must apologize that our chairman, Mr. Zach Cho, cannot be here today to uh, greet you personally. Unfortunately, he's not uh, feeling well at the moment. Actually, you can tell that I'm also rapidly losing my voice too. I'm pleased to say that uh, there are more than uh, 380 Federation associates here. Many are long-standing friends of Hong Kong and the HKTDC, but for more than 40% of you, I understand, it is your first Hong Kong forum. I'm confident that it will not be the last. A number of firsts make this gathering particularly notable. For the first time in the forum's 11-year history, we welcome participants from all 24 Federation member countries. That includes our friends from Russia here for the very first time. Welcome. In another first, four mainland enterprise delegations from Fujian and Guangdong provinces are joining the forum. In all, they number close to 150 mainland business leaders. Some will attend this morning's Star Leaders panel discussion and the outstanding business panel discussion that follows. Other will visit, will sit in on tomorrow morning's dialogue with China CEOs. That will, by the way, be the first forum session led by mainland CEOs, which we feel that uh, would also enhance our close uh, link with uh, our mainland friends. Opportunities is what the Hong Kong Forum was designed for. It is what Hong Kong is all about, and never more so than now. It's a, been a very good year for Hong Kong. In the first three quarters of 2010, our GDP was up a remarkable 7.1% year on year. While growth may slow slightly, it is expected that the full year GDP results will come in at around 6.5%. More growth means more business opportunity, which is why two thirds of Hong Kong and mainland companies recently surveyed by one international employment survey, survey said they plan to add employees before year's end. Another executive search firm says Hong Kong could an, uh, add an extra 7,200 financial services jobs next year. It's the same in the real estate, hospitality, and many other sectors. In short, business is booming here and throughout Asia like nowhere else in the world. It's why just a few weeks ago, I welcomed Mr. Kuma, the United States Department of Commerce Assistant Secretary for Trade Promotion to Hong Kong. Together, we signed the first Pacific Bridge Initiative. This initiative is an agreement between the Hong Kong Trade Development Council and the U.S. Foreign Commercial Service, which will work to make U.S. business more aware of Hong Kong's value in reaching markets on the mainland and across Asia. The agreement is expected to generate new business for companies in both the United States and Hong Kong. Our export agreement with the U.S. is smartly timed with the Chinese mainland's 12 five-year program. The key proposals of the program have been adopted and will be approved in the spring. The new five-year plan will emphasize the mainland's domestic economy over exports. It will highlight, among others, seven strategic emerging industries. They are the energy saving and environmental protection, new generation information technology, biotechnology, high-end equipment manufacturing, new energy, new energy cars, and new materials. Much of that emphasis responds to the reality that the mainland is now the world's largest energy consumer, that automobile use on the mainland is expected to increase dramatically in the coming years. The five-year program also designates cultural industries as a pillar of the national economy while endorsing Hong Kong's deepening economic integration with Guangdong. Each of these national strategic directions offers significant business opportunity. Each can best be approached, we believe, through Hong Kong. We are China's window to the consumer world. We are the world's gateway to the country that has generated the longest, 
highest rates of economic growth in history. Let me add that the 12 five-year program underlines the mainland government's commitment to reinforcing and enhancing Hong Kong's role as an international financial, trade, and shipping center. We, the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, built on Hong Kong's strength in many ways, but our events, program, and activities are created with one main purpose, to bring the vast opportunities of the mainland to Hong Kong business and also to you, our Federation members. Now counting more than 11,000 members and 33 associations in 24 countries, you are the Hong Kong's global ambassadors, our valued friends and business associates. Working together, I know we can build a future to reward us all. Thank you.